As good as your screenplay is, or your viral video, or your blog, I've got something to tell you. It is not worth dying for. I would even go as far to say as it's not worth getting injured for. So today we're gonna to look at the three most dangerous things on a film set. When you talk about safety, a lot of people think, well, that's not gonna to happen to me. But every single year, Dozens of people get injured, and some people actually get killed making movies. Accidents happen. I say accidents, but a lot of the time it's avoidable negligence um, that's the cause of these kind of things. So today we're going to break down how these injuries happen and how you can avoid them. An injury doesn't just derail your shoot. It can endanger your entire career. Um, insurance is expensive but it is also a nightmare to make a claim and get paid from, and then afterwards it's very hard to get insured again. We need insurance because filmmaking engenders are a wonderful kind of optimism. We all believe that we can do amazing things, and sometimes we can. The positive aspect of that is that we attempt the impossible and achieve it. The downside of that is we take risks we should never have taken, and sometimes that catches up with us. There is a deep culture of risk-taking in filmmaking, but it's up to you as the filmmaker to make sure that those risks are creative and not physical. If you're the producer or director on set, it's really up to you to set the example that safety comes first. You have to act in a safe way, you have to make sure that the people working for you and working with you are safe, and that they don't take risks that they shouldn't be. I'm gonna sound like a total downer in this video and trying to shatter your dreams of going out there to the desert and um, letting off explosives. But uh, this comes from personal experience. On one of my first music video shoots, uh, we were using weapons and I got shot in the face with a shotgun shell. It was a blank, um, but had the armorer not insisted that everyone wore safety goggles, I would probably be blind. The actor pulled the trigger, the safety was on, um, nothing happened, uh, we cut, she pulled the trigger again with the safety off, and it went right into my face. I had burn marks through my cheeks that didn't heal for weeks, and if it had gone in my eyes, I would have been blind. Now that was over 10 years ago, and I've tried to make sure since that no one ever gets injured on one of my sets again. So let's take a look at where the dangers lie and how you can avoid them. The first big danger on a film set is weight. People don't understand that when you have something heavy and you put it up high, if it falls, it can kill somebody. Uh, my, the most common um, culprit for this is C-stands. People don't understand that when you put something up high, if someone to turn the C-stand um, knuckle the wrong way or to improperly load the arm of a C-stand, that it can come crashing down very fast. And if a 35 pound um, sky panel falls from 10 feet, it will destroy whatever it lands on. If that's your head, you are going to hospital. Never try and just push a C-stand if it's sandbagged. If you need to move a C-stand that's underweight, first lower it, try and balance it, take the, C the sandbag off, move it, put the sandbag back on. Don't try and push the whole thing, sandbag and all, it's gonna cause a disaster. With weight on film sets, you always wanna be using a margin of safety. So if a arm of a C-stand can hold 30 pounds, you don't wanna put 29 pounds on it, you wanna put 15 pounds on it. You never want to push your equipment to the edge because you're always going to miscalculate or there's going to be a cable that's too short or someone who doesn't know what they're doing is going to try and help out and someone's going to get injured. So understand that anything that is up high is a danger and the people that should be dealing with that need to understand what they're doing and be qualified. Next on the list is electricity and that's no real surprise. Everyone knows that power is dangerous, that you can get shocked if you don't know what you're doing. With the advent of LEDs and low power lights, there's a lot less generators on set, there's a lot less um, upscale power on set, but that doesn't mean that uh, you're safe. The most common way to get zapped on set is with damaged cables or damaged equipment. A stinger that's been run over um, by the dolly one too many times and the cable becomes live, um, and the next person that touches that C-stand is gonna get 240 volts. There was an experience at my production company in Australia where a set of lights had been used for years and years and finally wires inside the lights became loose and the next person to turn them on um, went to hospital. It's important to have the lights or anything that has electricity going into it, like a fogger or a hazer, 
um, to be checked regularly by an electrician to make sure that nothing's coming loose, to make sure that it's still gonna work the way that it needs to work. The next thing we're looking at is heights. While I was researching uh, this video, I came across an LA Times article from 2014 and it listed 205 production accidents in Hollywood. The vast majority of them were falls, falling off things, falling onto things. People who um, regularly would be careful around heights once they have a camera on their shoulder or they have people waiting for them, they disregard their common sense, they get too close to the edge, they get distracted and they get hurt. Anything like climbing, like going up on a scissor lift, climbing a ladder is a two person job. You need someone to spot you, someone to stabilize the ladder. And again, use your margin of safety. Don't stand on tiptoes on the top stair of a ladder, you're gonna fall. And if you can't read something with the tools you have, get different tools. If the ladder isn't high enough to reach that rigging in the ceiling, you just have to go and get a scissor lift or a bigger ladder. Don't try and put the ladder on a table. Um, the Shitty Rigs is full of terrible, terrible um, examples of how people put their lives and careers in danger just to you know, adjust a light. It's not worth it. Now you may think, I would never do any of these dumb things. I wouldn't you know, put a huge weight on a loose C stand or use a faulty wired light or um, stand on the top rung of a ladder. But the most dangerous thing on a film set is actually fatigue. We work long hours, don't get enough rest too often. It really affects our mental capacity to judge and assess risk and act safely. The first thing you need to do as a filmmaker and a producer is make sure that the people around you are getting enough rest to not kill themselves when they come to work or on the drive home. I would say fatigue is a factor in almost every onset injury, whether it's driving to or from set, whether it's um, cutting your finger off on a saw, whether it's um, falling off a roof. F uh, fatigue and tiredness plays a huge role um, in misassessing risk and taking chances that you shouldn't. Filmmaking is a long game. Very rarely does someone break out in one particular film. It takes dozens of projects to make the right connections. It takes several feature films um, to get your work recognized. And we need to be in this for the long haul. And the only way we can do that is to stay safe, look after one another and set a great example for those around us. Take care of yourself, fulfill your potential, and I will see you next time. Oh,